Welcome back to MacBridge Studio. We're going to be looking at our new plugin, Ripple Whips. And uh, some of you may have had a chance to download and play with it, but Mark wants to show something specific with photos and Ripple yes, Whips. Yes, exactly, exactly. So to get started, Ripple Whips, you usually think about using with video. So I have an example here of a couple of clips that are, are video clips. So we've got this shot of this buggy going through this path in the woods, and then these girls jumping off a cliff and if I go ahead and apply one of these ripple whips, I'll do this one called up and flip here. Double flip click it. it. How about flipping up? Sorry. Up and flip. It'll create a transition between those two clips that is kind of exciting. And then we actually have another ripple whip that goes to this next shot and another one that goes to this next shot. I just love them so much. They're just so, they're fluid. Yeah, and I'm not going to go into how to use them in detail now because you can you can download them and you can try them out. FX Factories we distributed through them, and it's totally free to try the whole thing out. But I want to talk specifically down at the end here about um, how to work with them with photographs because there's an interesting way you can combine them with Ken Burns to create motion. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, let's start here. So I've got these two clips. One's a panorama, and one is this kind of square shot, like Instagrammy. Okay. But neither of them match the aspect ratio of our project, which is a 69 aspect ratio. So if I were to apply up and flip to these two and play through, we push in and we flip around, but it doesn't look any good, right? So one solution to that, and this is kind of neat, you can select both those clips and the transition. And if you look in the inspector now, you have the option of, of modifying the settings, the published parameters of the transition, but you can also select the video for the video clip. So if I go down here to Spatial Transform and choose Fill, both those video clips will now fill the screen. Because they're all selected. Because they're all selected. And now we have a transition between them that works a lot better. There's no black frame. Right. Okay. And of course, you can change the framing of each of them and you can modify that transition a lot of ways. So that's neat. But And part of the motivation for this product was, well, Ken Burns is a great way to create motion on a static image. That's right. But how do you continue that motion through a transition between clips? Because you've got motion on one photograph motion on another, but then you're just doing some kind of cross dissolve between them. Right. But how could you do something more dynamic? So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to set these guys back to fit. Okay. And instead with the playhead over the first one, I'm going to go to the crop tool and select Ken Burns. And I've got some options. I'll use this little flip around here and to have it go in the other direction. And I don't want quite so much motion on this, but I'm just going to create a little move on this first clip. Sometimes you have to move the playhead back over the clip as you're adjusting it. Uh, a little move on that first clip. You preview it? Does and it then, like? uh, yeah, I could preview it just by pressing the preview button here. So we've got this little move there. This little pan. And then, and then we go into the ripple whips, okay? And then on this other one, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to click done yet because I'm just going to write to the next one and also click Ken Burns. And here, I, again, I want to reverse this because I don't want to end full frame. So I know I'm going to be pushed in. All of ripple whips work by pushing in to allow you to have a transition between them that's off screen. Sure. So this way we'll come back out to reveal this and maybe I'll push in a little tighter to start with uh, just on this pelican, pelican here. Yeah. So now if I click done and I play through this. So you pan. We pan over. Pushes we push in, in. Whips around and then. Oh, and there's still movement. And then the there's pelican. still movement. Yeah. And you wow. can adjust how fast that movement is by the duration of the clip. This, this clip. So you've got a lot of flexibility. And then, of course, with the Ripple Whips themselves, if I select the transition and we go to this adjust framing view, we can adjust where it pushes in. So we want to focus more on the bird and maybe we want to push into this house that we had just slid over to with Ken Burns. So we can combine these uh, camera moves, basically, from the clips across you know, transition. It's, it's really interesting here because you're controlling the camera framing in Ripper Whips and then Ken Burns is doing its own framing right. on the photo itself. And then you can match those because Ken Burns on the first one moved to the right. So like, okay, I'm going to push into the right since it moved to the right. Right. So I'll go back to our action view and try that out and see if we get a move that starts sliding to the right, then pushes into the right, and then comes back out on that bird. And, then, and, it's, and you get a little bit of motion. Yeah. Right? Now, these clips, this particular bird is up high in that transition, so I can make a little bit of adjustment for that as well. Yeah, his head's being a kind of obscured. Yeah, so, so I, I can adjust the clip position a little bit, move that down a little bit, and I can also move the feathering and the feather amount to fix that up a little bit, just to make just it a little, a little smoother. Adjusting the seam. Yeah, exactly, between those. 
so we get something that works. Every shot you have requires some little different adjustment to get a nice effect. The basic idea of combining cam burns and ripple whips to have continuous camera movement across photographs. It's fantastic. So if you, uh, to reiterate something Mark said, if you haven't checked out Ripple Whips, go to FX Factory, download it. It's, uh, it's free to try it out. Uh, I think there's no transition out there quite like it. It's, you did a marvelous job uh, program, programming it in motion. <laughs> Anyways, we, should, we should just put a link to the demo video yeah. below this so that you can check it out. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.